So I recently had a jinn experience per se, where I met this individual, he accepted Islam on the day after Halloween. Now why would someone accept Islam on the day after Halloween? Basically what had happened was this individual, he had gone out partying with his friends, all of them got completely drunk and they were picked up by a Muslim brother who was offering his services to you know, take all the drunk people home that night and they were actually staying at a hotel. So halfway during the drive home, this individual, he starts acting very, very strange, literally as if he's possessed. Now everyone's drunk, they don't know what's going on, but when he, they take him back to the room, you know, some of the people are, are getting their, back to their senses. So one of the guys is actually a Christian pastor. So he, he starts having fun with this individual that's possessed now, and he starts playing like this Christian rock music. And you see the video, this is all recorded by the way. And they're playing the Christian rock music and the jinn isn't you know, interested at all. He's like passing in and out, zoning in and out. Out. Then the brother's like, you know what, let me play some Quran. And in the video, you see this brother, as soon as he starts playing Quran, then all of a sudden the jinn literally it freaks out and it like jumps off the bed and onto the floor covering its head with the pillow. So it doesn't hear the Quran anymore. Now the next morning when this brother, or well now he's our brother, he gained his uh, consciousness and they showed him this video. And he asked the Muslim driver that was there, you know, what happened? What is this? What was it that you were playing? And he tells him that, look, it looks like you're possessed by a jinn. And what I was playing was the Quran. And he starts giving him da'wah and he accept, uh, actually accepts Islam at that time, the very next day, alhamdulillah. The jinns and devils, they are scared of the Quran because Quran is the word of Allah. Quran is a shield for the Muslims. When you recite the Quran, these jinns, these devils, they run away. So this non-Muslim man, he was drunk on the night of Halloween and then a jinn, a devil has possessed him. But when this Muslim brother has switched on the Quran, he was doing some weird things. He didn't want to listen to the Quran because he was possessed by a jinn. Actually, the jinn didn't want to listen to the Quran. The jinn wanted to stop the Quran. So the jinn was doing weird behavior. When this man came into sense the next morning, when this man understood that the Quran is the word of Allah which has protected him from the jinn, from the devil, he has accepted Islam. So my brothers and sisters, recite Quran daily, try to understand the Quran, try to live with the Quran. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect you from all the jinns and devils.